Hello, Vice Senior Bok Tai 2, Solar Boy Django. Yeah, we found Lady last time, and books can teach you a lot. Also, guild work is really piling up, and I would like to help out. There are request sheets on the left and right shelves, and I can have a go at doing some of them. Oh, I can't read that book yet. Oh, here's our photo album. Found the photo of Ennio from pushing those stone blocks around. Um, oh, hey, here are all the weapons. Okay, but request sheets. Oh, uh, we don't have those yet. I probably need to go talk to people in town to get them to post request sheets here. <laughs> yeah, all that guild work piling up that doesn't actually exist yet. Um, you. Yeah. Okay, I don't I don't know if Zazie has any quests actually. I know Lita has some. I don't know if she has them now though. This is the problem. Well, uh, no, I should, I should try talking to one more person. <laughs> All right, he's fine with vampires as long as they've got cash. Okay, but let's just go to the next area. I'm sure more quests will unlock as we do things. I wonder if there are any new coffins I'd be interested in. Except I really like the silver coffin. I think this is the same selection we had before. Oh, wait, no. It's totally not. Coffin of Darkness off the black market. Um, comfortable bed, but lowers solar pile attack power. Raises solar pile attack power, but not such a great bed. Yeah, so being a comfortable bed raises the rate at which you get energy while sleeping. I'm not really a fan of sleeping at all. Even with the best coffins, it's still really slow. Wait. There was another room. No, there wasn't. I just can't tell what doors look like. Anyway, that's that's enough time wasted. Let's just go to the dungeon. <laughs> I talked with like a third of the townspeople. I'm apparently satisfied with that. Wait, where am I going anyway? Right, Aqueduct. I could push more blocks this episode, but uh, let, let's 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 go forward. Aqueduct, Aqueduct, Aqueduct. <laughs> Oop. Great work, Django. Got all the sage cards. Now I should use them. Wait, that's not Father. Oh man, too late. Game over, music. Ringo, use the three sage cards. The door's open. Oh man, you can finally reach the last wedge. Thank you, gift has been prepared. <laughs> I actually forgot that happened. <laughs> Whatever. There's a lot I forget about this game. Why did they bother with these sound plates when slimes don't even detect you? Or rather, they, uh... I don't think they do, anyway. Maybe, maybe they do care about sounds. Oh, I can't shift the camera over because that's the edge of the camera. I did try hitting R and moving it down and left. Map A. I always forget that you actually need maps in this game because um, I always find them before I need them. At least usually. Octopuses. It's no longer a Kraken in this game. I think they're probably weak to fire, but also that, um, I want to conserve my energy for something that's actually threatening. I believe I have insulted a mini-boss. Oh! Oh, wow! That's actually a lot of damage. <laughs> Maybe I should care more about this. No oh, wait, it's because I have 
the thing on. <laughs> I almost want to get hit to demo how much more defense I have. Oh wow, actually I still did take a lot of damage. <laughs> Never mind. How many of them are there anyway? Like a million? Something like that. I didn't quite count it, but that's my estimate. Yeah, it's easy to not get grabbed with the spear at least, but I mean they throw rocks. I guess it's more like I'm saving my energy for puzzles. I can't think of any normal enemy that's more threatening than the octopus. <laughs> but I mean, I've already mentioned how much I hate the sleeping spell. It's so slow. Invisible chests? Invisible chests? No. I don't know why I felt like checking exactly there. Oh, actually. In order to finish off a skeleton, you need to use an enchantment attack. Only for the last hit, so I can still save plenty of my energy. Uh, let's see, I should also bust out the sword because it has more do- Oh, wait. Um... Okay, so... I should... Whoa! <laughs> um... We're just- We're just using all my items. Wait, why am I not a vampire, actually? I think that's the real question to be asking. Oops, didn't mean to put that there. Writing enchantment dark for when I want it. Yeah, use that vampiric hit stun. Because I'm extra strong because I'm a vampire. Oh, whoops, I turned on some sun. Didn't mean to. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're starting to get low enough that I figured I would turn it on. Ow. There, got him. Yeah, I was actually reminded to turn into a vampire because of all this tomato juice in my inventory. I almost called it blood again. Alright, maybe I should get one vitality. I, th I think... I think I need a few more hit points again. Oh. Wasted items. This is... Is this really the end of the dungeon, though? I feel uneasy. And also, like, I should save. <laughs> you know, they're probably actually the same feeling. Although, if I die, I'm probably just gonna pay the bank anyway. Or pay dark loans. Oh man, I'm too late. What? I did just catch you. Oh man. Black Dane. What is one's true form? People just play the part of the person that suits them at the time. Like switching between the sun and darkness. Isn't that so, Django? He's borrowed a body because he has no true form. The immortal's old rival, your father, Red Ringo. Actually, I'm getting quite used to to being in his vampire turned body. Laughter. Uh, how could you with your dark blood betray the will of the galaxy universe now? <laughs> galaxy universe? I am slightly amused by that. Even if my body is infested with all this dark matter, I'm not part of some group and I don't take orders from anyone. Even from the galaxy universe. Dark! Oh man, dark's will gotta be obeyed. Neither of your inherited bloodlines are of any use. Oh man. It's because people aren't complete that they keep striving for more. Uh, 
don't even have a self, you could never understand. Uh, yeah, wow, this is quite the conversation. They're like arguing over stuff, and I actually do not really care. I mean, I'm sure it's inspiring, but <laughs> I mean, Zazie's not here. <laughs> or something like that. Oh man, we're gonna die fighting. But he wants to talk to Django. The fourth one is awake. With this body, I can get into that tower. I'll leave Devalin to deal with you two. I have no use for this thing either. Here, take it back. Narrow! <laughs> Toss Narrow to Sabata as we get dragged. But you know, it's fine. Because we, we just fight the boss underwater, I believe. So Sabata got away. Never mind, if it's just him, my brother can take care of him. We still have our own bit of fun here. After all you did for or did to my underlings, I am Blue Dvalin, the sea ruling immortal. Stay strong, Django. Of course. <laughs> so randomly, under the water, there's a platform surrounded by water. Makes as much sense as swimming in a pool in Spongebob. Oh yeah, and he's going after Dane. And yeah, weak to fire. Um, I guess until I actually want to turn on something, it's better to be Django Black. Whoa! I think I just need to be farther from that edge of the platform. Uh, <laughs> did I skip over my inventory, or was there really? Ow! Should really be more careful. Whoa! What do you do in that situation? Do you have to change bat? No, I don't think they'd do that. Oh, maybe you have to attack it to stop the attack. Possibly with an element. Oh yeah. Just just attack. Oh, right. <laughs> the part where that happens. And it deals fifteen. So I don't think this is the winning run. Didn't stop it. All right, let's let's actually see how much I deal with enchant fire. I think four times as much as I've been dealing. Oh, I'm in the wrong form, of course, and I'm doing all the wrong stuff. Eh? Didn't expect that. Am I out of healing already? Yeah. Okay, so we just need to not get hit again. Or we can take that hit. And yeah, I do appear to deal exactly four times as much damage. Yep, there I go. But I mean, we know a lot more about this fight. Devalon's weak point is her head. You can inflict damage by attacking her arms too, but don't get too engrossed. And miss a chance to attack the head. Uh, maybe I should reload my save and stock up on more items. Hmm. So my magic is back to what it was. Ow. I should probably turn off my magic when I'm just hitting arms. Because I don't think I have any magic potions. Yeah, stop that. Oh, 
Oh, there is a square of sunlight in the middle of the arena, but I'm not allowed to use it this episode. <sighs> Maybe this fight should actually be saved for the future then. Oh, right, stop. Ah. Tricky, because you've kinda oh. Yeah, let's uh let's reload. Let's go do something else. Um I mean the sun won't actually be a huge advantage because I mean I didn't even run out of energy on either of those attempts. But I I've gotta reload and stock up on items anyway. Plus, I mean, to purify her in the pile driver, we'll need the sun anyway. It will be necessary to watch the cutscene again, but, um, I'll cut past that once we actually do come back here. For now, I'm gonna go push blocks around. I mean, it's like right conveniently near where we are. Might not solve an entire branch of that area, but, um,. You know, they stay solved. Hmm. Let's see, it's like right this way ish. No, that's a dead end. But you know, ish. I Bye. Wow, that's quite the mouth that he spits those bombs out of. <laughs> yeah. As I continually, yeah, ah, continued to be navigationally challenged. Okay, yeah, let's go here. And the button rooms. I believe it's basically lights out. Yeah, press the A button above a panel. Color them all red. Oh, only have two moves on this puzzle. Well, that's easy. Let's see. I have five moves here. I think it's either going to be all the corners plus the center, or all the edges plus the center. So I'm trying to think how it would work out. Well, maybe if I hit the center first. It'll be all the corners. I figured the solution was going to be highly symmetric. Alright, how many moves do I get here? Four. See, this is just the reverse of what we had after hitting the center last time, isn't it? There we go. Five moves. Um, let's just try this. Yep. <laughs> These 3x3 three three puzzles, I don't think they ever get difficult as long as they're this size. And they tell you the number of moves. 8. It's probably the entire outer ring. Because 8. Because <laughs> in a puzzle that's a lights out puzzle that just has two colors, you never have to hit the same tile twice. It's, it's impossible to craft a puzzle so in that way, no matter how big the grid is. Wait, what did I get besides the photograph? Was it a weapon? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's Fihander. Sounds good. <laughs> Free attack power. Always a fan. And <laughs> that took like no time. Can even go do some other puzzles. I mean, I figured it would be short, but I don't know. Okay, so emblem room I think is the toughest. So let's let's do some ice room. 
I may need to use fire attacks at some point as I'm doing ice stream stuff. But I have some energy. I can fill it up next episode. Oh, actually, maybe I should be going back to town to do shopping now. I don't know. It'll be fast enough to do next episode. And I'm already here doing puzzles. And not seeing the solution, by the way. I haven't just been talking and not looking at the puzzle. I mean, clearly I need to get something here. Um, but how to do that looks tricky. Yeah, I mean, for so far, a few moving parts, what do you even do? Uh, let's start moving stuff around. I can do this. And there's no way I'm gonna move this block all the way around and hit here. Like, if I move it this way, it's just stuck. Uh, so, I mean, let's, let's reset the puzzle. My possible first moves are, well, moving it this way loses, moving it this way loses, moving it this way loses, or moving it this way is a possible move. I can move this this way, and the other way I can move it seems like a failed move. I don't think there's any advantage in moving this here, but I also don't think there's any disadvantage in it. Uh, yeah, I'm just seeing an awful lot of ways to get these cubes stuck against walls. Oh wait, I see I see the solution. I don't know why I didn't see it before. It should have been like blindingly obvious. <laughs> Sometimes the difficulty is me. Okay, so um this one. Once again just two cubes. See, the obvious assumption is that you need to get a cube to stop in one of these two positions. But I have a feeling I need to fill up both of these two instead. Um, so I mean, let's start moving blocks around. Oh, I see what I should have done. Or do I? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I didn't even have it messed up before. Wait, no. I think I was right the first time. Um... Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, winning, apparently. This is some excellent puzzle commentary, I'm pretty sure. The, the most excellentest. <sighs> Alright, well, we made it through another. What have we got here? Okay, we do have stairs. We need to get a block here, definitely. And do we get two blocks here, or two blocks here, or three blocks here? <laughs> I don't think three here is happening. Uh, it might. No. No. Maybe. I don't know. I should probably push some blocks. 
um, in a direction that has yet to be determined. Actually, getting two blocks here is like ridiculously easy. So the problem comes. No, that's not even hard. Um, wait, maybe it is. I was gonna say the problem comes in getting the block there. Let's see. Uh, wait. <laughs> so for some reason when I said it wasn't even hard, I thought that there was a block here and a block here. I, I don't even know why I thought there was a block here. <laughs> So, I mean, I could easily just push two blocks up and left, and then push them up and right. But I'm trying to work out which two blocks should be pushed like that and when. Because I think in order to get a block over there, I need to push one block and then push another block on top of it, but not in this one position. Alternatively, the way to get two lined up over here involves the second of the blocks being pushed from somewhere down your right of here. This will probably be the last puzzle of the episode. Uh, let's just move blocks, I guess. So, like, I can do that. I feel like I've already failed the puzzle, though. Like, super failed. I can do is actually go this way. I hadn't considered that earlier. And then... Does that actually enable me to do anything worthwhile? Hmm. So that could be the second block in that row. I could use that strategy. I'm bad at this game. <laughs> okay, what I was actually thinking... Push two blocks out this way. Then get... No, I already have two blocks stuck. That's immediately wrong. I was thinking I would do this and then melt the block that's here, and then be able to push this block out farther. But no, it uses too many blocks to be viable. Rather, it wastes too many blocks. Obviously, any solution will use three blocks. Any working solution. It'd be so easy if only the room were entirely constructed in a way that made this significantly easier. <laughs> Such as if this one hole wasn't there. I see it. Oh, but wait. There's a problem. Nope, it doesn't work. Because if I push this block down and right, it's stuck up against the stairs. I'm 
pretty sure it can't be pushed from the stairs anyway. Yeah. Yeah, what I could have done, if if I could do that, is I could send all four blocks along this path, and then I'd have three connecting from here to here, and then the fourth one, I could push this way, and then I actually couldn't push this way because this block would be in the way, so it wouldn't work anyway. <laughs> Got it! Um, Alright, if this takes three more minutes to solve, I'm just ending the episode anyway. interesting is that these two can be pushed off in a line. I don't think that helps me in any way, but I find it interesting. Like, I can actually stop blocks in positions that I hadn't considered. somehow push the middle out. Or, I mean, this middle. Or the, the middle row, if you view it in rows instead of columns, and your rows run in this direction. <laughs> okay. Because then I could push this up, and then go with... Actually, that plan was already proven to not work anywhere. Never mind. Um... get a block here. Maybe I need to think backwards. It has to be pushed from exactly here. So it has to be pushed from somewhere along this wall. But not this last position, because it's stuck there. Alternatively, to get a block here would require lining up three blocks here. But I believe that's obviously impossible. Or at least... I guess it would be hard to prove, but... I don't consider it a possibility worth thinking about. So the chief goal is... Just get one cube along that wall. For now. We'll worry about the other pathway wherever it ends up later. I guess I, I'm out of time, aren't I? I said three minutes, I think it's been three minutes. So uh, yeah, next time I'm not gonna solve this puzzle because we have boss to kill. And we're gonna purify that boss. And then we might come back here, or we might do request sheets, or we might already be out of time after killing the boss. 
So, uh, yeah. See ya!